Hello everyone, this is Dia from A Academy. This is the second episode of the theorems related to the closure of a certain topological space. So, if X and Tau is a topological space and A and B are the two subsets of X, random subset of X, then the theorem states that A union B closure is equal to A closure union B closure. So that we have to prove if we take the closure of the two sets and then take the union and this thing is eventually equal to if we take the union of two sets and then take the closure of, of the sets. So we will prove this but in two parts. The very first part that we have to prove is that A closure union B closure is a subset of A union B whole closure and the second part is that A union B closure is a subset of A closure union B closure. So we will see the very first part right now. So let's see how to prove it. A closure union B closure is a subset of A union B closure. So for the first part the target is A closure union B closure subset of A union B closure. So let's take an element. Let A belongs to A closure union B closure. And we know the relation of the closure with the set of the accumulation points. That is A bar is equal to A union A prime. Same for B bar is equal to B union B prime. And same with the sets that we have to deal. But here are the two sets only. So if A belongs to A bar, then an A bar is equal to this thing. Which means that A is also a member of A union A prime. And for B, if A belongs to B prime, bar then it is also written as b union b prime so we have just used the relation of closure the set and the accumulation points so we will simplify this further a belongs to a union b union a prime union b prime because all have same unions no I have any intersection sign that is why we can interchange b a a prime b prime anywhere here so a belongs to the set a union b union a prime union b prime if we let c is equal to a union b and then a we know that a prime union b prime can also be written as a union b whole prime so this can be c prime so by using this we can write as a belongs to c union c prime and c union c prime is same as this b union b prime a union a prime so this means that A belongs to C closure and C is equal to A union B. So eventually we can write it as A belongs to A union B closure. Initially we picked a point A from this set and then by using the relation of the closure of the set and the set of accumulation points we will prove that A is also a member of A union B accumulation set. So this implies that we have proved A closure union B closure is a subset of A union B closure. So this is our first part and we have proved this. Now moving toward the second part. Now for the second part our target is that A union B or closure is a subset of A closure union B closure. So let's take an element that A belongs to A union B closure and again we will use the relation of the closure set and the set of the accumulation point that is A union 
B all closure is equal to A union B union A union B and that accumulation set because A union B is also is any set let's say C then this is C bar C union C prime so this is the relation and we can also write it as for A union B now if A belongs to A union B bar then this thing implies that A belongs to A union B union A union B this and we can write it as A union B union A prime union B prime and again we can interchange the elements because there is no any different sign other than union so A union A this union B union B prime and this is if A union A prime is equal to A bar and union this is B bar so A is a member of A bar union B bar but initially it was a member of A union B bar so from this we have proved this this implies that eventually A union B bar is equal to a bar union b bar this is this is the second part that we have proved now so by combining the first and the second part a union b closure is equal to a closure union b closure because this is a subset of this set and this set is also a subset of this set so by combining the first and the second part we have proved that Eventually, A union B bar or the closure, closure of A union B is equal to A closure union B closure. So this is for now. If you're looking for more such videos, then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.